Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you three different ways you can insert a tick or a check in a box. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got three example boxes here. What I've done is I've enlarged them because sometimes it's a little bit tricky to see. But I've also put a smaller text box here, and this is something that you may well get in your fillable form. And um, this is actually a piece of text. So this has been inserted as if you'd insert some letters uh, on your page. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the draw icon and select a pen of my choice. Uh, if I want to change the colour of the pen I can do or I can change the width of the pen nib as well which is here. So I'll just keep it on black and I'll just use a small one here. So all you can do is you can just go back onto your page and click and drag and just tick the box. Now if you like the tick but it's too big and you wish that you could uh, change that tick then that's fine, just press the escape key on your keyboard and highlight the tick. This will allow you now to just move and enlarge that tick. You can then move it around, you can change it to a different box if you want to, and then once you check off it will return to the black tick that you originally started with. Now if you don't like the tick you can keep going back and practice, but if we just go to that tick for the larger box, enlarge the nib, and then we can just put a tick box in there, and then if we press the escape key, again if we click on this, then we can move this around, make it bigger or smaller, or we can delete it and start again. So that's the quickest and easiest way to insert a tick into a box in Word. The second way you can do it, if you want a slightly more professional look, if you go up to insert, go along to text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box. Just draw a quick text box and then go up to insert again and go along to your advanced symbols on another version of Word it might be just symbols and then this dialog box will appear. Click on the drop down and then on this particular version you need to go and find something called Windings 2 and in here despite how difficult it is to see these symbols because they're so tiny you can insert a tick here. There is already a tick and some check boxes here but if you haven't got the opportunity to insert that and you just need the tick, then it's here. And just click insert and then close. Now, as you can see, the tick's been inserted into my text box. And just in the same way that you would do with text, you can highlight that tick, go up to the home tab and go along to the text section. Here you can do all sorts of stuff, whether you want to increase or decrease the size of the tick, you can increase or you can change its color and um, change the font if you want to. Then once you've done that, if you try to move this text box over the box you'll see that it has a white background and if I click off it's also got a black border. We want to get rid of that so highlight the text box with the tick in, go to shape format, along to shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill and then go up to this border here and click no outline. And then when you click off the ticks on its own and then when you place it over the box you can see it has a transparent background. And again with this you can increase the size of your text box but it won't increase the size of the tick because this is actually a piece of text. So again if you want to increase it you'll have to double click inside, highlight the tick, go back up to the home tab and change it here. So if neither of these techniques suit you because you can't find this tick or because you just don't like this one then you can of course go online Go to a website called pixabay.com and in the search bar here just type tick and press enter. And then you can see that you're presented with a number of different tick options that you can select from. Lots of different colours, lots of different styles, but if you're just looking for a bog standard black tick then this one's fairly suitable. So just click on that and then you'll be asked if you want to download it, so just click on the free download click on download, then go through the authentication process, click download and then just close that down. You go back into your Word document, go up to the insert tab, go along to the picture icon, click on the drop down and select picture from file. Then go to your downloads file and then you'll be able to see your check mark in the top and then just click insert. This tick will be inserted, it will be absolutely massive, but don't worry. What you need to do is just make sure that it's selected. 
make sure you're on picture format, the tab at the top, then go across to wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. Then just simply click and drag to reduce the size. And then we can go up and just simply place that in the box. Now again, I just stress that these are massive boxes for a Word document. You're likely to have something like this. So you can simply do exactly the same. All you've got to do is just reduce the size. So if I just increase the size of my page, And then you just click and drag. Sometimes this can get a little clunky, so you just have to be a little bit patient. And then you can just click and drag and put the tick in the box there. And then, of course, if you can select it and just move your arrow keys to just nudge it left or right. So there you go. That's three different ways to insert a tick in a box in Word. I hope that's helped you. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.